Welcome everybody Woo! to Liberate Your Life Force. Tristan and Sabrina, here we go. We see you guys. Hello, We're hello. super excited about this workshop today because we are going to help you liberate your life yes. force. We just had a three-day virtual event called Alive and Thrive. And I see many of you in the chat that attended that three-day event. And it was phenomenal. We were unlocking and unlocking and unleashing energy. We were doing exercises and techniques to heal the body, to activate more physical vitality, to really address chronic pain and chronic issues, not just in the body, but also in the mind. So what we thought we would do is for a lot of the people who couldn't attend live and thrive is to pick like three of, um, they were all very popular, but three of the most popular sessions from those three days and share them in this workshop with you today. That's right. So today we're going to be freeing our fascia. We'll explain why we're doing what we're doing in a moment. So really opening up the body, the tissues, getting more mobility, helping the energy to flow through the body so we feel more energized and we sleep like a baby. We're also going to be looking at this beautiful area right here, heart center, and how can we bring the energy up through mm -hmm. the body and yeah. nurture it and open up this heart area so we tap into that beautiful inner wisdom. And? And then the third session that we're going to do is one that I really love because so many times, whether we're not feeling good physically, are kind of feeling sad emotionally, or just not happy, or carrying grief that we can't let go to, or we're looping in thoughts and not sleeping well, it actually has to do with your vibration. And we're going to talk about this cycle of vibration and why we're a match to the conditions that we are with our with our love life, with our relationships, with our money and with our health, and what we can do to shift the vibration so that all the things on the outside also shift. Absolutely. So this is gonna be a nice tight workshop. You're not gonna be here all day. We're gonna run for around 60 to 75 minutes. We're gonna mm -hmm. be up and moving very soon. So please mm -hmm. do what you can do yeah. and join us. Uh, you can do some of this sitting as well. I would start by hydrating right now put some mm -hmm. water in your body we'll explain more why you should yeah. do that but right now i would do that and this workshop is really for all levels so if you've never done qigong if you're new to our work this is all about life force every level you can be a professional athlete and do this you can be dealing with a, a lot of issues on some kind of healing journey and what we want you to do and we'll guide you a, a little bit because we don't have a lot of time is how to modify so yeah. if you can't stand as long as we're standing you go to a sitting position if you can't rotate as much as we're rotating but but do get up and participate because this is very experiential and what we want you to do right now is notice how you feel Take a, take a calibration. How do you feel in your body? Scale from Where? one to 10. Yeah. 10, you feel amazing. <laughs> and also just how you feel with your attitude of gratitude. Mm. You know, just what, what are you feeling today? It's if somebody said, there. hey, how are you? If you were really honest, what would you say? I, I don't know. I'm a little lazy today. I'm a little bored can't today. Can't complain. Yeah, can't complain. Same, same. Oh, gosh, I hope you don't say that. No. <laughs> <laughs> and, but one of the things that we really talked about that we always talk about here at Satori Method is the unique way that we combine the physical body, right? Like the meat and bones, like the one that goes to the gym. Not meat and potatoes. With the energy body, more like the subtle body of Tai Chi and Qigong Great with that teeth. heart center but more in alignment with meditation and spiritual wisdom with the conscious mind where you focus the mind and choose what to think and the subconscious mind that's running the programs underneath. And the unique way that we weave these together through this energy that flows that like right an infinity. And that's what really liberates your life force. So we may be diving into different pieces of what I just said, the physical body, the energy body, the heart center, the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, but it's about the way that we're weaving it together that really unlocks that vital health for you. There's a system, there's a method. We call it Satori method. Satori is a word that means awakening, awakening of your life force. And as that energy percolates and expands within you, it raises your emotions and your consciousness. You feel super tapped in. You have a lot of wisdom and clarity in your life. We all go through things, but it's just how do we navigate life? How do we make conscious choices? Mm -hmm. And when you're dialed in, when you're tapped into your energy, you can make those conscious choices and you have a body that's filled with wonderful energy that heals itself faster, that sleeps better, and you just mm -hmm. overall feel happier as a human. Yeah. 
Now, this is a this is a complimentary workshop, and it is sort of just like a, a sample of what you get when you attend our classes and workshops. And we will invite you to to work with us and take what you're going to learn today further and so much more. But we'll do that more towards the end. You know, for years and years and years, we owned a martial arts and healing center here in Austin, Texas. That's where we live. And hello again, if you're new to our work, Tristan and Sabrina here, and welcome to the free workshop. We did free workshops. We called them open house at mm -hmm. our school. And people would come and they would have an experience. They would take a class. Maybe they come for a couple of classes. And then, of course, the next question was, how do I join? So that's what Sabrina was referencing. We'll share with you today. We'll give you a full, deep workshop. And then if you'd like to continue yeah. with us, we will show you how you can do that. Yeah, so the workshop's in three parts. Um, and you're going to be standing and moving. So why don't we jump right in? Let's do it. All right. Okay, I'm going to move. Uh, it, the camera works better when it's focused solely on one person. So I'm going to be off to the side and I'll be looking at the chat. So if you have a question, you can toss it in there. When Tristan asks you a question, you can write your answer and I can feed it back to him. All right. It works great. Thank you everybody for being here. Thank you for being part of our lives. Those of you who are in our Life Force Dojo, some of you are in our ninja program. We believe that a ninja is somebody who's very consistent. They're very on point. They have a clear path that they're following and they're becoming high level at what they're doing. So we love, love, love the energy arts and very much into Qigong, so moving meditation. I'm going to draw from Qigong today. Before I do, I'm going to put a quick slide up on the screen. I'm going to walk you through these three phases of what we're doing, and this will help you understand at a very top level what this system, this method is about. So here it is. Unblock, unlock, unleash. I'd just like to take a few moments to explain how this works because this will serve you as a framework moving forward if you love what we're doing today. Unblocking has to do with your physical body. It has to do with your tissues. Specifically today, we'll work on the fascia tissue. It's connective tissue that surrounds every muscle, bone, organ, tendon, ligament. It's this beautiful tissue that keeps us together. It's considered your secondary nervous system. And if it gets tight or dehydrated or there are adhesions, it actually blocks the flow and the circulation of energy through your body. So Qigong helps to unblock. Next, unlock. When you're practicing these ancient arts, over time what happens is your energy shifts and energy is read by what we call emotion. Thoughts and feelings create certain emotions, and that's really an indicator of how the energy's flowing. When you are unblocking, you end up in this phase of unlocking, we call it unlocking, an inner spiritual power, the inner wise self. A satori is an unlocking of your inner knowing. So we'll dive into that a little bit today. And then unleashing has to do with taking the energy and shaping it into all the different areas of your life. It has to do with using mind force so that you can focus your life force into your relationships, into your work, your job, into your friendships, how you show up in your community. These complete, um, we like to call it on our map, a dojo. A dojo is a place of training. So that's what we're in right now, a place of training. There's a dojo inside you, you're in a dojo, and then your whole life becomes a dojo. What is a dojo? A dojo is taken from the concept of martial arts schools. It's a sacred place. It's a place of transformation. So you start to look in your outer life as a dojo in a way that you can show up and train in all these different areas, bringing your best self. So that's how we unleash. Okay, that being said, it is time. There, seeing my face on you. Oh, yeah. Well, we might as well knock that out real quick. So this is the lion and the lady. And those of you who have known me for a little while probably have seen this. But if you haven't, it's, uh, it's really beautiful for me. This is the yin and the yang or the yang and the yin. This is obviously Sabrina. This is like a totem. She's a very powerful woman. She's a beautiful teacher in my life. And this design is one. It represents Trisbrina. It represents the power of Sabrina. It represents the yin and yang energies in balance. And it just feels really beautiful to use it as a reminder of how much I love my lady and how I show up as the lion for her when she needs me. Okay, thanks. 
Okay, time to free the fascia. We're gonna start in a position known as Wuji. If you're new to this work, just follow along, do the best that you can. Uh, I'm gonna put a little light music on in the background and then I'm gonna bow in. Please hydrate again real quick before we get started so that your fascia has the water inside your body in the extracellular areas of your body around all of your cells, um, around your fascial tissue, it can drink the water. It's, it's really a beautiful thing to feed your fascia. All right, music coming up. Craig Young's music, thank you, Craig. Okay, I'm gonna keep it nice and low. Okay, got your water in your body. I'm gonna close the blinds and off we go. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for training. Uh, I like to take off electrical devices, get your phone away. Here we go, bowing in. The bow is just a sign of respect. It's my way of respecting your time and saying thank you for training and thank you for trusting these techniques that I'm so honored to share with you. Wuji, it's long spine, arms are open, palms are open, heart is open, third eye, your mind is open, and you drop your awareness from here into your breath. Take a nice deep belly breath. Pull your mind down in your body. Breathe out, listen to the sound. Your auditory system picks that up and says, okay, time to center, time to relax. Breathe in again. On the exhale, pull your belly button in towards your spine. Clear all the stale air out of the lungs. One more time, breathe in through your nose. Fill that belly. Breathe out. Feel like there's a little hook on the top of your head lifting you to the heavens. Creates the long spine. Your spine is an information highway. We want that spine nice and open so that the energy and the information can flow through the spinal column. We're gonna stretch our fingers long, open the palms because you can feel energy in your hands, especially when you stretch the fascia in your hands. We're gonna open our chest, pull our shoulder blades together in the back, squeeze our buttocks, squeeze our legs and feet. And here we go, squeeze. Lift your chest and breastbone up, look up slightly, breathe out. Rotate your hands out. We're wringing out the tissue, so when you release slowly, the tissue absorbs the water that's inside your system. We're going again, breathe in. Long spine, lift that chest, squeeze your legs, squeeze your back muscles, open your wrists. We're gonna bend our knees, balance, put weight in one leg, step out slowly, transfer the weight, Step out the other leg, we're shoulder width apart, we're gonna lightly bounce. So the idea in Qigong, and in the first phase of unblocking, is to get all the muscles to relax. Get all the tissue around the muscles to lengthen. To get the breath circulating. Breath brings in fresh energy, life force. Get the blood moving, blood carries the chi. Shaking your fingers shaking your arms and doing your best to bounce softly through your knees. And this little bit of vibration is also stimulating your lymphatic system. Little gates inside your lymph vessels are opening and closing right now and moving impurities and toxins and pathogens out of your body so they can be flushed by your immune system. The lymphatic system is part of the immune. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. <sighs> Getting toxic energy out through good breathing. We're going to shake those hands up all the way over our head now. This is helping to activate all the energy inside the body, get it moving through what is known as meridian pathways, energy channels. We're pulling from the Alive and Thrive event, going up again. These are techniques that are fan favorites, if you will. Now watch what we're going to do. And we're going to close our hands, breathe in through our nose strong. Breathe all the way up into our lungs to the very top and then we bend our knees and throw our arms back. This strong breath through your nose pulls in the air and it stimulates something known as nitric oxide. 
when you do that in your nasal cavity and nitric oxide helps your body, your tissues to absorb more oxygen. And then you let it go. Only do a few if you're new to this. If you know what we're doing and you feel comfortable, I would start going stronger and longer. Only do what's comfortable. If you get dizzy, stop. Come on, oxygenate your body, clear stress, get your mind in your body. One more, breathe all the way up, all the way to your fingertips. Full body breath, keep those feet open, let your arms float down. Notice how you feel. Breathing with your belly, up to your chest, and all the way into your extremities. It's called skin breathing. It's a full body breath all the way to the skin. And then relax, bend your knees a little. Breathe out, breathe in with your whole body. There you go. One more time. We're gonna continue. We're gonna lightly tap up the arm, down the inside. Shoulders down a little firmer. Good. Under the armpit lightly. Down your waist. Lean a little. Expose all those tissues. So right now we're percussing and opening up the tissue so that the energy flows better through the energy channels. It's also great for your skin. It builds collateral capillaries when you tap strong, resilient skin, healthy looking, nourished skin, not opaque, white, or lazy kind of saggy skin. You gotta have circulation for healthy skin. So give it a good tap. Don't bruise yourself. Over time, your skin gets stronger and it has a feeling, it looks a bit like, um, well, healthy skin has a glow to it. It's got that nice, healthy blood with oxygen flowing through all the layers of dermis, epidermis, hypodermis. Okay, that's the waist, tummy. So this is called the power center. All around the tummy. We're bringing fresh blood to the area. We're clearing stagnant, blocked energy. Right here on the hip area. Got some lymph nodes in there. Okay, and you can tap stronger over time, just don't do it on a full stomach. Now, buttocks, down the outsides of your legs, up the insides. And do that a few times and really increase the tap. Now turn one foot out and bounce and tap your knee. This is great for circulation in the knee joints. We don't have a lot of capillaries around our bones sometimes where the tissue's thinner. So this helps to bring more blood and chi to the knee. All the way down, all the way up. Circulation is what brings so much health to the body. So you want the fluids and the energies moving. And this is a great way to get that happening. So I'm just lightly bouncing and that gentle stimulation, sending a signal from my brain to my body that it's healthy, it's charged. It essentially puts information there. So energy is just information. We're gonna take our hands in a moment, put them behind our back and do some drumming. But just so you're feeling energy, it's fresh information. The better the information, the signals to the tissues from the brain body circulation connection, the healthier we are. When we have maladaptive signals, when we have poor information flow, poor energy flow, the tissues suffer because it's not getting the information that it needs to be healthy. Okay, so that's why circulation techniques are so important. Drumming. So we're on the kidney adrenal area lightly. I'm leaning forward ever so slightly. Rubbing strong. This is great for your lower back. It brings energy into an area known as the gate of life. The Ming Men. 
right through here. Keep rubbing, now lightly on the sacrum bone. There's a lot of dormant energy. Chi, prana, right down here in the root. And by percolating, percussing rather, <laughs> you get the energy to percolate. And it can over time rise up from the root all the way up to the brain. And it's so incredible when that energy rises. All around the head, some people call it kundalini. Yeah, if you know the yogic terms. All around for the brain. All right, we're gonna go into a standing meditation. Open your feet a little wider. Round your arms, round your knees by bending them a little. Round your shoulders a little bit like that so you're not doing this, and not compressing your lower back. It's more forward and round. Hands are just off to the side. Sit down as if there's a high stool here. Lift your sky hook and draw your chin in just a little. That creates the long spine. This is a perfect stance for Zhang Zhang, standing meditation. And now just feel your belly pump breathing like a swimming pool. If the pump goes out, the water gets stale. We need to breathe to circulate the life force. Breathing now, see if you can feel like you're breathing with your whole body, like all the way to your skin. And all that is, is a shift in awareness with some techniques that bring energy to the whole body. So keep breathing and you're increasing your awareness of how to be in your body fully energized. And the better you get at listening to your energy state in your body, the better you get at recognizing when something's off. Your reactivity comes down, your receptivity comes up. And that's psychological as well. But we wanna be able to listen more to the body like an instrument, like a, an incredible hearing aid where we can sense more information. Again, energy is information. The more you can sense your surroundings, you can sense your breathing pattern, you can sense a little bit more where something might be off, or a little bit tight, a little bit of fear reactivity in tissue, by increasing awareness. And what is that? It's bandwidth. And to be able to open bandwidth, we have to focus the mind. So all of the things we just did gave the mind a job. Right now, standing, the mind has a job. What do you want me to do? I want you to breathe and notice. Breathe and notice. What do you notice? I notice a body buzz. I notice more fluid breath. I feel a little bit stronger, a little taller. I notice my posture feels a little better. I think my mood just shifted. Okay, very good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move into some flowing techniques. So we're going to open our feet a little bit more, and this is to help circulate the life force that we just helped to open up through the channels. So we're going to draw our hands down, keeping our back mainly straight, and breathe up. And bring our hands up the middle, all the way up, and then out. It's called parting clouds. Breathe all the way up. Full body breath. Open. Watch when we go down, we don't do this. We're not stretching our back on this one so much, it's more in the legs, because we're asking the energy to come up the spine. The hands are helping to lift it up towards the brain, and then we're parting the clouds, which is to clear the mind and expand the field. And you have a field. Some people call it the auric field. And you're listening, because that's the beauty of energy work. You start to feel the energy inside the body and around the body. And you start to be able to make adjustments to your energy. And because energy dictates density, did you know this? Energy becomes physical. Over time, it becomes more dense, more physical. So if you go to the root of transformation, you go to energy. So if you can feel energy and move energy and circulate it and harness it, you can change things in the physical much, much faster than only doing physical approach. So if you want speed to healing, you want speed 
to manifestation. You want speed to love. Work with your energy. So all we're doing is just feel the energy rising from the root up through the central line of the body, bringing it up into the heart. The energy moves through the heart up into the brain. And then we open ourselves so that we can receive more. Now we're going to talk, start talking about the field of consciousness. Why not? Can we go there? A couple more. So what if you weren't here alone and that there was support that you could tap into, known as life force, and that that support is always here for you and it's always breathing you and digesting your food and healing your wounds and you became more aware that you don't have to do all the heavy lifting and that you could access like a life force ninja this energy and you could source it source it from source itself the source of life force and then you could use it for whatever you want all you have to know is how to unblock and unlock that wisdom that we've been talking about. So we're gonna come right here and pull the chi up, and we're gonna do an orbit out. So we first brought it up through the middle with parting clouds, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna encourage the chi and we're gonna lift it with our hands up towards the heart, and then up to the brain, and then we're gonna extend it out. We'll talk more about why we're doing this. This is called spinning the orbit. You might take a couple of breaths as the hands float up. Keep your knees soft, your chin drawn, roundness to your arms, roundness to your shoulders, flowing. So what we're doing is we're syncing up with source. We're syncing up with the rhythm of the universe. How? Have you noticed the orbiting of the sun and the earth? Have you noticed the tide in the ocean? How the waves flow in and then they draw back out, just like your breath? There's all these cycles and balance. In this work, it's known as yin and yang. You're rising up into the heaven. This is yang energy. And we're flowing down, soft and soothing to the mirth, earth, mother, this is yin. And so we're balancing yin and yang in ourselves. And we're syncing up with this rhythm that's bringing life. In order for there to be life in your body, to thrive, you need to find, we need to find the balance of heaven and earth. Heaven brings like masculine energy, the seeds. And the seeds are then received by the earth, the mother, yin. And if yin and yang are in balance, then the human body will thrive. Seeds planted in the soil cause a thriving. But if you're too young, too driven, too hardcore, two in control, then you have no yin or low yin, your body cannot thrive. If you're too soft, too muted, the seeds won't take root. So you're seeking this balance. This is one of the great teachings of Qigong. We're gonna come here to the heart. And we're just gonna hold for a moment. We're gonna come back to this in a little bit, but I just want you to land right here and feel there's strength in this conversation and in this beautiful body that you have. And we're shifting our awareness of the body in Qigong that it's like a home, like a temple. And that there's an energy that lives inside this temple. And the more you become receptive to the energy and conscious of the energy and identify with the energy, knowing yourself as energy, not just as a nice cliche, but like a real experience. You feel it and you feel it in your heart. 
because there's a lot of energy in the heart, you start to realize, I am this energy. I am this conscious awareness. And you're upgrading your identity. You're not just a person running around in the external world trying to create. You're this beautiful flowing energy with ease and grace. It's very powerful. So you're just going to bring that energy in, share it out, come to center. When we're working with chi, bring your feet together. Some of us see it as a golden white light. That's why I have these two lamps right here to remind me to connect to like the sunshine, this life force. And you can start to visualize it coursing through your body. The ancients discovered these channels and they created a mapping system so that we could identify where the channels were in the body and that there are areas that the energy pools are known as Dantian. There's one in your belly known as the power center. There's one, one here in the heart center and there's one here in the brain, the wisdom center. Why don't um, you write in the chat while Tristan's finishing up scan, how do you feel? Absolutely. How do you feel? <laughs> There's a whole internal irrigation system. And so the energy arts teach us, just like when we were kids, probably in school studying physiology, we were learning about the organs and the bones and the muscles and how this internal body's made, the liver and the spleen and the kidneys, and like we learn. But there's more going on in there. There are channels known as rivers that the life force flows through the limbs, 12 main energy channels. And then there are these really big rivers known as reservoirs. You've got a lot of energy coming up and down through the middle of the body. They're considered extraordinary vessels. And then there's these pools that I mentioned. And then there's gates in different places that the energy flows in and out of and gates through the body. So when you start to understand your irrigation system and understand how the pumping system works, you can really open up your body and you become so vibrant. And what we see in humans when they're little babies, the irrigation's running really well and they're teeming with life force. Mm -hmm. They're just so alive yeah. and vibrating. And you see the glow. Mm -hmm. Babies have a lot of what's called Shen. Shen is the spiritual energy because they just took a dip in the divine and they're just glowing. And we say, oh, let's protect that innocence, protect it. What we don't want is for the fuddy-duddy adult brain and fears to come in and block that beautiful, innocent glow, the Shen. Mm -hmm. So someone who does energy arts in certain meditations, you start to see the innocent glow coming back and their body comes back to life and it's teeming again with life force. So the only reason that things, you know, go south in the body is dis-ease, mm -hmm. disconnection from the energy. Yeah. And I love, thank you all who are sharing in the chat. People are feeling amazing. We see you over on YouTube and on Facebook. We get the feed combined. So we're hearing from everybody, a couple hundred people. Um, the gr great news is that sometimes we think as we get older, like I messed up, I didn't take care of my life force and now I'm fatigued or now I have these problems. But the great news is just like the brain can continue learning and create new neural networks, you can actually re activate your life force and get more life force and, and your experience of it. There are methods and ways that we teach like you just now experienced. So if you're attending this workshop and you're newer to movement, maybe you thought that was a long time to stand up, right? Or, or maybe you thought, oh, I'm, I'm not symmetrical. One of my shoulders doesn't go up. Or I felt that in my hips or uh, that, that made my neck feel funny, or, oh, I got dizzy when I did that thing. Just know that as you uh, 
um, work on these processes that we teach and your body gets used to having the energy activated, different things happen. I mean, we have so many students when they first started working, and this is not an exercise program, we use through the body to activate the life force energy, which is at the root of everything in life. People who, who couldn't rotate very much, who now can. People whose knees hurt due to inflammation, who now feel a lot better. People who just felt sort of blasé. And a lot of us, as we get older, we can kind of give up on ourselves because maybe we had kids and they're out of the house. Maybe we had a job and that slowed down or we're even retired. It's like, and then you don't use your energy, therefore you don't have any, and it just gets to be this spiral down. But what, what we love teaching and sharing is, you know, when, when Tristan, when he had his five-year back injury where he could barely walk, not only was he in chronic physical pain, but the depression and the grief, it is all linked together. Oftentimes when we work on the physical body, we notice my mood is so much better. I'm sleeping so much better. My digestion is so much better. And at the same time, where we're able to change the frequency of the energy, right? You could think of you have a radio and you can play all the different stations. Well, you have energy that can play at different frequencies. And just like with the radio, you have the power to turn the dial and choose the different stations. You actually have the power when you know how to change the frequency of your body so that you actually do see things from a more positive perspective. You're not pretending to, right? You might right now hear somebody that sees things with more possibility and think, oh, she's just sugarcoating it. But it, as our energy rises, our perception of reality also changes and we start seeing things as what is possible and what is probable rather than, oh, what could possibly happen that could go wrong? Mm -mm -mm. And the comments coming through. People are <laughs> feeling connected. They're feeling so much better, centered, energized, feeling the innocence, feeling excited. Uh, let's see. Somebody noticed I got a tattoo. <laughs> Allie, I did. Look, it's my lovely lady. And uh, a lion. You didn't see my lion. Here's my lion. He's the guardian of the lady. It's He's called so the, beautiful. The lady and the, or the lion and the lady is the name of the tattoo. I feel <laughs> great. Epic tapping. Christine says she's reconnected. I remember how peaceful connecting to source is. Doesn't mm -hmm. it just feel so great? Yeah. I love to have the conversation about source energy while we're practicing Qigong because if you train, with like a legitimate Qigong master, they're going to tell you that's the goal of Qigong is to reunite you with source energy, mm -hmm. but you're going to do it through the body, yeah. which is so much easier than through the mind. Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried just to sit and meditate and your body's all fidgety or your energy's off? It doesn't work very or well. Just sit and stop thinking about that thing that's bugging you. You just can't. What this does that we're teaching you is it creates this balance known as body-mind alignment. So you take the power of the body and the focus of the mind and you bring it back into harmony. That creates that yin and yang. That's why we wear this symbol. Mm -hmm. When the energies come back into balance, the yang of the body and the yin of the mind in this conversation, you are whole again. Mm -hmm. And then something blossoms and opens, which is here. And you start to feel this incredible energy in your heart center and we've all heard, follow your heart, listen to your heart, trust your heart. But your heart starts to inform your brain and your mind isn't just here. Your mind's in your body as yeah. well. So if you're not upgrading the body, the mind is compressed and trapped. So you do the PD, personal development here, and then the body drops you back in. And mm -hmm. we know this looping game. But if you do the body and the mind, you create that body-mind align and you start coming back into soul center, that's when personal growth and spiritual growth really takes off. Yeah. That's when the body comes back online. Mm -hmm. That's when the mind and the brain is guided by the heart, we call the brain of your being. Now you have these incredible insights known as satora, it's mm -hmm. an upload, and you're just, you're on point and you have a clear path. You yeah. know what to do, when to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the creator of all gave us this body and this body is so full of magic and treasures and doors that we can open to experience amazing things. If that wasn't the case, we wouldn't need these bodies, right? These bodies are so incredible. I was just thinking like a skunk 
a, a skunk can spray that stinky smell to keep away <laughs> to keep away the predators. Like there's all these things that happen in the body, and some some people live their whole lives and they never experience this bliss body, this joy, this feeling of spiritual connection that can be activated through opening the energy centers of the body. Well, during the three-day Alive and Thrive event that we just finished that you're seeing of some of the sneak peeks we're showing you three sessions, we made an invitation to those attendees. And before that uh, program kicks off, we thought we would give you a succinct invitation to it because we have about, what would you say, eight or nine spots that are open? Yeah, just a few. Just a few. And what this is, is it's a program with the two of us where we actually are going to work with you through pre-recorded trainings and live coaching on all aspects of liberating your life force. This is not part one of a course that then you need the intermediate level and then you need the advanced level. This is everything and you have access to it for life to go through it again. And the first part of it is really an educational component where we walk you through the six Satori pillars. How should you think about life? What do you do when this comes up? How do you change your mind? How do you upgrade your mind? How do you figure out all the different areas of life from you know the, not just the energy engine, the physical body, the energy body, the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, and the heart, but what about your family and your relationships and your hobbies and your business and your investments? all of life's areas, how can you upgrade through those by uplifting your life force? So these six pillars are really our life's work. Well, they are. And we'll just show you this very quickly. You see the map in the background. And the map is really an incredible framework. So frameworks give us a clear way to understand a lot of concepts. So Sabrina just mentioned pillars. This whole thing is a pillar because it's a mental construct. It's a mm -hmm. framework that helps people understand energy work at a master level. Mm -hmm. So we would not to be boastful, well, maybe a little, we would <laughs> say that this particular personal growth framework is what we've been told from people who have studied personal growth for decades, that this one is the most comprehensive and inclusive and brings all the pieces together more so than any other framework they've seen. Mm -hmm. And I, I do believe that because this has changed our lives. And so we're going to explain this to you very quickly. What we just did was physical body techniques. Sabrina has been saying the physical body, the energy body, the conscious mind, the subconscious mind. These are all aspects of who you are. And then of course your soul. And this is what we would call spirit center. If you flip this on its side, or on the other, it's on its side right now. If you stood it up straight up and down, this would be the upper dantian. You put these together. This is the mind, wisdom center. This is the heart center. And this would be the one in your belly. But this is a mental construct to help you understand how to train. So you start with your body and your physical, your tissue, your fascia, and you free it. And you open the channels. And then you draw your energy. And we're on an energy pathway here into your subtle body. And you activate a, activate your energy body. So you stimulate your physical and then you end, uh, activate your energy. And this is the Satori method. And then from here, you start to slow your flow and stand and move into your heart center. Usually this is where you're tapping in to the inner knowing. Typically we see people sitting in meditation here because the body gets very quiet, the senses mute, and you go into a very deep, powerful state of consciousness. And when you're in that enlightened state, you get ideas. When you're coming out, you start to own your mind. Usually the mind is filled with a lot of distractions and worries and concerns and maybe some old negative things that have happened. So you want to be able to own that mind. So you have now conscious mind, mm -hmm. truly conscious. Yeah. And then through repetition, you can rewire those old patterns that live in the subconscious. Those are the habits, the addictions, the old ways of being that aren't serving us anymore. They have to be upgraded. So you use your energy work mm -hmm. and then you integrate it. And how do you integrate it? You send the energy out into all the areas in what we call the grade eight. And we will, we show you how to do this. And that's really what we're about to explain to you is how this works 
where the pillars are inside here. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of wor work that we do with you for on the mental side. Mm -hmm. What's your core driver? What's your why? How do you get from where you are to where you want to be? How do you use goals consciously? Yeah. How do you take this whole thing and turn it into a storybook so yeah. it's the book of your life? Yeah. Now, this invitation is called the Life Force Ninja Program. And a Life Force Ninja, I could say what it is to me, it's somebody who notices when they're not feeling great, notices when they're not feeling good, and they have the tools and the strategies to shift it and to change it. And they are that life, life with low energy is no longer reality. It's somebody who's saying, my life force is the essence of all that I am. It isn't about living a long time, not feeling good. It's about living with incredible life force and really, um, being the person that I'm meant to be, to be able to fully show up for myself and my family and to do the service in the world that I know I was put here to be. So as I was saying, with that life force, there's six pillars that you go through, which are pre-recorded trainings. But like we said, this is a mind body. So we, we have to inform the brain, then you're going to get nine activators. Now these are physical activators which are routines. And these are energy routines that anybody can do. You want the page? Some are super short, yeah. some are long. And we will tell you like which ones might be more applicable to any situation. You will learn them. And then when we get together for the live sessions, we're going to make sure you do, you're doing them correctly, answer your questions and show you how to modify. We're looking for an intimate group of people that we can actually see and work with and take through this program. The entire program will be completed by December 16th, but you'll have all access to it forever. And there's some amazing bonuses that we'll get to in a second. And then the other aspect, so we're taking care of your body with the activators, is we're gonna take care of the mind with mental processes. So these are nine mental processes that basically are processes not just to sometimes get you out of a funk, but get you into an elevated state. They are unique. They are things that we've been doing for years, and these are nine Decades. processes that we that you will go back to again and again and again. Now, in order to, once we completely liberate your life force, we want it to stay there. <laughs> and so we're adding in a bonus of three months of working with us in our live Life Force Mastery Dojo classes, where each week you can attend up to four live classes, including a Qigong class, more of a meditation and movement class, a fitness class, and then a class that's really focused on bone density and increasing muscle mass and creating more capillaries so that you can access stored fat and turn it into energy, which is going to help you release any extra weight that you're carrying that could be uh, making your energy Bogging lower. Me. Bogging, you, bogging down. you down. Yeah. yeah. Heavy. And then if that's not enough, we're going to give you a $250 voucher to be used towards any other deep dive in the future. And like we said, there's only a few spots, but there is a fast action bonus for 48 hours. And that fast action bonus is after we finish the course in mid-December, we're going to give you three months in what's called the Ninja Circle. And in the Ninja Circle, you get monthly movement mastery sessions. So maybe you have a move that you're doing, but you're just not sure exactly how it goes. What are the subtleties? How can you get the most of it? And a monthly master class where we are continually going through what you learned in the Life Force Ninja program, but more hands-on coaching. So this is a Huge invitation. We think this is the best program we have ever Here's put together link. and will absolutely transform your life. Those of you who have been through it in the chat, if you want to uh, pipe into the chat how well, it changed your life. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, and you don't need any experience to start this program. You don't need to have already been in our dojo classes. If you are, we're going to add three months to the current membership that you have. It is phenomenally reduced by like 80% right now. Um, in the future, we may offer the program again, but we're going through some shifts in the company that we're very excited about, which may not allow us to have the live components that we are having with you right now. The dates of the live sessions are on the page. It's six sessions, each of them two hours. 
we kind of varied the day of the week and some of the times because we absolutely don't expect people to attend all of them, but those are recorded and you can watch those afterwards. Don't leave yet because we're about to jo jump into the second section of the program. <laughs> we just be, we know that some of you might have to go. We didn't want you to miss yeah. this incredible opportunity. We are going to continue with the workshop now. Mm -hmm. That was a little scheduled uh, program from our sponsors. <laughs> Okay. So I have two more sessions. Another one that you're going to be standing up yep. is next. And yep. then we're going to do something really fun where we get to draw on a poster. Yeah. This program is amazing and will definitely change your life. Thank you, Hamsa. All right. So in the work that we're doing right now with Qigong, and I, I really love this approach because Qigong, uh, I have so much respect for this art. It, it brought me back to life. Uh, from being unable to walk or stand for maybe two minutes at a time and having to always sit down, always in pain, losing not only my um, my school, my martial arts school, losing my students, all the medical bills, becoming so upset with myself, mad at the doctors, uh, feeling broken and going broke. I was a miserable, miserable guy. And so if I hadn't found my way to these arts, I don't know if I'd still be here. Truth be told, that's for real. Yeah. So I owe my life to these arts and I made a deal with the divine that if I could be healed, I would dedicate my life and I enrolled Sabrina <laughs> to share them mm -hmm. in a sensible, scientific and helpful way so that others could get out of their blockers, their pain, their emotional, physical, psychological blockers. And so in doing so and in saying yes to the divine and asking to be guided, how do we do it? The map was shown to us. Mm. That's no, Nobody else made that. That came through guidance because I was listening. This is where we're going now. We're going into the unlocking phase. There is so much intelligence baked into the brain of your being and you, you can access it through going inside and we we teach the body mind align and i have to give so much credit to qigong because qigong teaches heaven energy and earth energy unify within the human being mm -hmm. and once i realized how these energies go back into the heart and i saw the yin and the yang i saw the well, we could do it this way water and sun i saw the heaven and the earth coming mm -hmm. back together here and when that took place, and it's happened powerfully at least four times in my life, I would call them intensely spiritual experiences. One was the healing of my back. I was shown what to do inside and how to do it. Now, my subconscious mind was being used by the superconscious, and my subconscious was showing me through guidance how to visualize how to feel into the energy. Yeah. And I was here in my heart. And that's what we share in the Life Force Ninja program. It's how to unlock. We're in the unlocking phase. Mm -hmm. And I really want to implore upon you that it's not a platitude or a cliche to follow your heart. It's a real thing. There mm -hmm. really is wisdom, deep knowing within. But we typically don't get to it because we don't get past the gatekeeper. And the gatekeeper is the mind, the conscious mind. And so we have to quiet that mind and kind of tell it to take a back seat so that we can go inside. And that is where Qigong becomes Neigong, and it means inner skill. So I want to invite you in this next section, we're going to move the body again. We're going to put our mind in the body, not split focus, not checking our phone, not checking the email, not, you know, because that won't get you in. It's just the mind needs to be trained and it needs some discipline mm -hmm. to become a disciple of your, your yep. energy. It gets very chitty chatty. Very chitty chatty. So through the body and the training, it gives you a chance to get past that gatekeeper and you go inside. It doesn't happen like that. However, some people say they have an instantaneous insight, an instantaneous awakening, a true satori. Boom. Whoa. Now I get it. And it's not here. It's in your being. And then you're being informs your mind and your mind later you write it down like i got to capture this consciousness because this is beyond and then you you go back and you remember oh wow look what i learned look what was shown to me 
And that's part of being a life force ninja is getting that ninja level of awareness, right? So I want to invite you to do some movements and we're going to hold a posture and your arms might burn a little bit. You might feel like you want to put them down. If you have a shoulder injury or something, then of course do. But if you can hold them up a little bit, you're developing some of that discipline and you're pushing through some of the mm -hmm. discomfort, not to hurt, but to train the mind. I am strong. I'm going yeah. to hold this vision. I'm going to hold this possibility that I can tap into this. And we're going to hold it at the heart center. And then over time, if you keep doing this practice later, your arms float up on their own and they feel suspended by energy. And that's a real incredible experience when you realize I'm buoyant with chi. It's mm -hmm. called big chi. Yeah. And that's what creates the glow and that's what creates the vitality. So I'm going to invite you to hold the position and then I'm going to invite you to listen and possibly speak out loud, wherever you are, what you're feeling. Mm -hmm. And we can't hear you, so speak loud. Yeah. Now, this is considered an incantation. Personal development where you're like, I'm happy, I'm smart, you know, <laughs> making fun, right? I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and gosh darn it, people like me if you ever saw the Polly, what was it, Polly something? Sure. Is it Polly Sure? Anyway, it was like Stuart Smalley. Mad TV, Stuart Smalley. Yeah, you got to go way past that level. <laughs> you got to go into your being where you're like, I got this, yeah. right? I am strong. Yeah. I have what it takes. I'll find the way. I know I can do it. Like you start speaking mm -hmm. the soul. I'm good soul. enough. I'm smart enough. And, and I can do whatever I want. I can I do want. whatever I want. <laughs> but there's a strength and there's a voice. There's a soul density inside of us that's mm -hmm. so powerful. And then it can push through the blockers yeah. that are trying to mute us or causing us to quietly quit on ourselves when mm -hmm. this thing comes back out. That's it's like life a force. lion. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to feel the yang energy in yeah. your heart. Mm -hmm. Heart, yes, is gentle, is kind, is sweet, is beautiful, but it's strong too. My karate teacher said the strong can afford to be gentle. It doesn't make you aggressive. It makes you very beautiful, very mm -hmm. generous, and very loving. But give that some power. So I'm going to invite you to speak your truth. And we'll see how it comes through. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to send it out and we'll move into the unleashing phase. Here we go. It's, this can be a lot of fun. And this takes Qigong, in my opinion, to a whole other level. Okay. New mic coming up. Mm -hmm. Another Craig Young song for you. Metamorphosis. Here we go, friends. Bowing in. Muji, strong. Open your arms, open your chest. Invite that wisdom, stepping out. Bounce and shake. Get in your body. Let's go. Feel your power, shake. Breathe. We're gonna do a full body breath. Here we go, all the way down. Breathe up. Fill yourself with life force. Flow down. Strong legs. Breathe up. Arch. One more. Breathe slow, let it flow. We're going to move our arms through the water, invisible water. Circulate the chi. Get down into your base. Feel the ninjury inside of you. Give yourself permission to get to the next level in your health, your vitality, your focus, your energy. Feel the flow. Okay, we're gonna come back to that parting clouds. We're gonna build on this energy. Strong. Send it out. What are you feeling right now? What are you embodying? 
Ask yourself and listen. Empowered, we're gonna start the orbit. Energized, focused. You are this energy. Rising, you feel your energy rising. Becoming more clear, more determined, more deliberate, present. Speak your truth with me. Let's do a round of I am. What are you? I am able. Breathe it up, send it out. I am grounded. Feel that grounded, stable stance. I am liberating my energy. No more blocks. I'm done playing small. You can go into a whole riff. I'm built to serve. I love to share. I love to take care of myself so I can serve others. I am strong. Feel your legs strong. I am capable. I am choosing to be strong. I'm learning, growing, reaching for more. I'm meant for more. More has been assigned to my name and I'm rising to the occasion. Through my energy, feel it, it's rising up. By speaking your truth, every cell in your body knows that you mean business. There is nothing weak about you. Feel that joyful energy. I am in flow. Feel the energy moving your body now on its own, lifting you up. Bigger than you. You're not alone. You have support. There's a team. Who are you inviting? Who are you including in your team? Can be someone informless. A parent, a friend, a spouse. You're not alone. Invite the light. Invite the love. Holding at heart center. Feel it. Holding you up. You are suspended and supported. Breathe into your chest. Feel that inner smile, that inner glow. Hold your base. Hold it. Embrace that heart hero that lives within. You're such a beautiful, beautiful soul. You really are. In spite of any old mind thought, there is a beautiful being within. Always with you. You're never alone. Feel that energy awakening. Notice how strong your body's become growing and growing. This is life force, love force. Coursing through every fiber of your being. Feel your whole body being breathed. Come on, let's go. Let go. 
Let love. Give yourself to the love force. Invite the love as light. Looking up, feeling the forehead and third eye opening now. Light pooling down, pouring all the way into your heart. You have to put your arms down, you can, or hold them with me. Embrace this energy. Pouring down through your head, from the heavens to the head to the heart. Merged. Blended form and formless. Filled with light. You are this energy. Give me one more if you want. You can join me up top. Funnel the light. Like there's a sunshine above. Look up. Invite the light. Or put your hands down to the earth. Place your mind right there above the bridge of your nose. Focus in and up. Conquering the monkey mind. Releasing the split focus. Fully present. Expand the field out. Energy's everything. In what you're vibrating right now, you're sending out into the field. And the universe is listening to your energy and how you feel. It's listening oh so closely. Connect with the earth. Feel rooted. Feel your body coming back to life. You are in this beautiful blended reality of yin and yang, heaven and earth. In balance, your whole system thrives. Your body is built to thrive. Your self-healing, self-regenerating, self-recalibrating organism. Hands coming more together, gently floating in and out. Sense for the chi between your palms and measure your life force right now with your breath. Stay light, stay flow. Stay conscious. Moving to inner world is where all the magic lies. To liberate your life force requires a very clear path. Practicing the right things in the right way, in the right order, at the right time. And you're doing that perfectly right now. Notice what you're noticing. and find your final vibration. Lean into gratitude, thankfulness, generosity, kindness. Find your final vibration and take that energy, put it in your dantian, your lower belly. Pack it in slowly with breath. Store it in the center of your tummy. Place your hands on your physical form. Breathe deep and embody that message. Your body has a consciousness and a subconscious mind. And you're reprogramming the mind within the body right now. This is the piece that so often is missing in personal and spiritual growth. Not just about fitness movements. It's about upgrading the energy in your tissue and in your channels and your centers. Energy dictates physical reality. When you change your energy, you change 
your life. Become an energy master. Practice a little bit every day. It goes a long way. Close your session. We're going clockwise up the right, down the left. It might seem flipped on the camera. Go up your right side, over the top and down. And just gently massage that energy right into the center of your body. And it's stored there. And this energy is highly intelligent and knows where to go. We'll bring our feet together, our hands over our head, and seal your session, closing the gate at the top and the gates through the front of the body. Aligns what some people will call chakra. Chakra. Three passes, one for the body, one for the mind, within the brain and the body, and one to calibrate ourselves back to heart center body mind aligned where the satori lives where it awakens and please join me for sitting we're going to just sit for just a moment and continue to unlock unlocking liberating your life force Feel your spine is nice and tall. And I would just gently look up and invite the light, invite clarity, invite wisdom, invite that inner knowing. No mind, just an invitation. Be here now, be present. <sighs> There's a smile in the heart, a smile on the face. Clarity. And we're back, we're home. Some of you may feel the energy lifting up through your forehead into the brain. You might feel a nice resonance between your heart and your head, known as brain heart coherence. It's actually whole body in Qigong, the breath, the heart, the brain. You might feel some inner wisdom bubbling up. Maybe you don't have words for it yet, but it's a feeling like I'm back, I'm home, all is well. I'm supported, I'm safe, I'm clear, I'm healed. I know I'm on the right path. All of this can be cultivated and awakened and matured so that it sticks. But in order for something to stick, we need to have a method, a way of practicing regularly because the mind has a million and one distractions. There's something known as the forgettery and we forget all the time. We don't have to. There are ways to master methods. That's what we've created, a mastery method. We call it Life Force Ninja. And it's how we teach these ancient principles that are thousands of years old in these modern day times with sensible science and really clear technique, articulating everything and how to do it so that you don't have to go sifting and sorting through a bunch of blog articles or YouTube videos and waste a lot of time trying to get the results you're after. We've done all the heavy lifting. 
We've been teaching for 40 years. A long time. We figured out all the mistakes and we've been through all the woo-woo wackadoo stuff. We can tell you a lot of what not to do. <laughs> we've wasted a lot of time and a lot of money on the wrong things. We've suffered a lot, but we're highly motivated to figure it out. And that was given to us. And it's our job to share it with you and pay it forward. You want to master this method? This is the time. The doors are open. Go to this website, read what's on the page. It's a ridiculous offer. And an offer is an offering. We're inviting you to come and play in our dojo. We have incentives because we're looking for those souls out there in the world. And we're using this portal called a camera, which I don't even see a camera anymore. I just see people. I see sweet souls. And our job is to share. Share this for free, share this for something, share this for something. And people want, some people want to go further. If you're that person, then this is for you. We made this for you. And you're part of our collective. And you're part of our manifestation. And this is how we play. We train together. We get on Zoom and we laugh and giggle and we train. We watch your technique and we answer your questions and we coach you. If you're coachable, we can show you what we know. That's all we're doing. But at the end of the day, we're trying to help you tap into you. We don't want you to believe what we say. We want you to have real experience. You want to know if a teacher is any good? Look at their students. Look at their students. And you probably heard the saying, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And that is true. But you got to flip the script on that one. When the teacher's ready, the students appear. We're ready. We have a lot of students. Our last event, there were 13,000 people registered for it. Now I'm only telling you that because we're getting feedback. Hey, you guys, keep it up. This is working. This is good. Because if it wasn't, nobody would be there and we get to the drawing boards and we fix it. This is an intimate group. This is a small intimate group. There will not be 13,000 people there. The comments go flying by. We can barely keep up with them. This is a small group. Seriously, we can see everybody on one screen. We have the time to dive deep with you. If you're looking to go forward faster, you want faster results, you want deeper results, you want permanent lasting change, this is for you. No question. I would put this program up against any other personal growth, spiritual growth program. Why? Because we believe in it. If I didn't, if I couldn't say that, I shouldn't be sharing it with you. <laughs> it's not ego. It's just we really know what we know. And so we're going to share it with confidence and humility because our students teach us. They help us to grow. We've learned so much from our community. So we're students with you always. We're not the sage on the stage. You're the sage. We're here to help you awaken. Liberate your life force, my friends. Come and join us in the Life Force Ninja program. Go to the drawing board. We have one more training for you. You know, it's... Um... We're so passionate about sharing because of the results that the students have gotten. Uh, if you're new to our work, we have people who have had chronic pain, people who couldn't walk up the stairs of their house, who after going through a program like this, they have the strength to walk up and down the stairs to balance um, sleep issues go away. People who had trouble sleeping their whole lives, a lot of that's the energy is off digestion issues clear up, inflammation. There are so many miracles that happen because energy blocks are in all different places in the body. And when you know how to address the energy and you activate that life force and you become a ninja at your own life force, health rises to the top, health of your physical body, emotional, and um, your relationships. Didn't that feel great to stand in those postures and declare who you are, what you love, what you stand for, to feel the mind in the body, that's a crucial piece to the personal development journey mm -hmm. that a lot of, yeah. I, I don't see that offered a whole lot mm -hmm. uh, ever. So <laughs> with when you're in a highly energized state, that's when it goes in and it yeah. sticks. If you're doing it at a top level, beta brain thinking like, I'm good enough and smart enough, we make fun about that, or we're trying to change, but we're not deep in our energy, we're not penetrating deep enough. We got some scrubbing to do. Yeah. We got to re 
wire some stuff here and in the energy mm -hmm. system. If there's yeah. disruptions, what's the saying? The root cause of negative emotion is disruption in your energy system. Mm -hmm. So you have to undisrupt. We have yep. to create balance. Yep. Okay. Let's get set up for the next what part. What the world me... needs now is love, sweet love. That's because of Lori said the world needs Um, us. Someone just said, what if we work? I'm not sure what's meant by that question. We but, work. Uh, yeah, we work. <laughs> um, the training is pre-recorded and the live sessions while Tristan gets set up are mostly um, on Saturdays and Sundays. Occasionally we do them around lunchtime in the USA so people can attend during lunch. But we vary the time, hoping that you can t attend at least some live, but the recordings are available. And then the three months to continue with us in the Life Force Dojo, some of those classes are night, weekends, mornings, all over, and again, replays. Can you switch the mic? Let's, uh, you want to do it this standing? Next, yep. I'm going to write on the poster, silly. Do you not need, silly, do you need the little thingy there too? You're going to do that first? Oh. This, here. Do no, you need I that? Don't, no. You don't need it. No, well, I'm going to do a quick version of this. Okay. We're so grateful y'all are here. It's always so wonderful to see students and friends and folks that we haven't seen for a little while. They pop back in from time to time. It's really beautiful. Yes, my lady. Yes, my Would lady. Would you open these two for me? What the world needs now. Okay, we're going to have a little bit love, of drawing. sweet love. Yes, ma'am. Coming right up, I'm going to put that there for you. This is the one that got me last time. Oh, wow, this is that tricky one. Woo, got it. You good? Mm -hmm. No dropping on the floor. I got this. I got you, girl. Here, move your foot. I know all the teens. Okay. Hold on. And then I will, if you want to flip the camera, we can do that too. Boom. Boom. All right, you know what? I'm going to take my shoes off so that my head is in the frame. There we go. Do you mind if that's over here? I don't mind. Okay, great. So what we're going to do really na right now is sort of show you this helps me so much all day, every day when making decisions. Um, and what it has to do with is, let's say this, this is Jane. <laughs> we'll just work with an example. Okay. Now, Jane wants to make some changes in her life. What kind of changes? Well, maybe... Let's just say she wants to change her relationships. Oh, she wants right? love. <laughs> or maybe she wants to increase her bank account. Ooh, monies. Mm hmm. Maybe she just wants better health. Let's oh. see. How am I going to draw that? I'm just going to draw that like this. Vibrance. Okay. okay. <laughs> but right now she has a certain level. Let's let's use the health. She has a certain level of health. So what does that mean? It means that she has a vibrational frequency, a life force frequency that is being emanated that is a perfect match to her current level of health. We could say the same thing with uh, finances. We have a certain vibrational frequency that is in alignment with a certain level of money. I'm sure you've heard the scientific studies where we tend to match the income level of the five people we're closest to, we tend to start thinking like that because we're vibing with them. Now these frequencies are coming off of us based on what we're thinking and feeling, and that creates emotion, and emotion is energy, and that's frequency. Mm -hmm. Now what's interesting is a certain level of health has a frequency, and a certain level of uh, relationship, love, spiritual connection, money, but I'm going to stay with health. So, so Jane is a perfect match to her current level of health. The, what, whether the current level of health includes a chronic pain in the knee or trouble sleeping, whatever it is, it is a perfect match. It is in order. What she's vibing with is vibing with her. But what if Jane says, um, 
I, I would like to feel a whole lot better. Bigger, more vibrant. Right? Health. I want to feel very, very vibrant. Very Ooh. vibrant. That's a lot of that's a lot, right there. Right? And so that's vibing up here. That's the level that that's vibing with. Could she have a really big heart too, please? And lots of money. Only because she likes to serve. She <laughs> uses the money for good. So what happens is down here, sometimes we can think that's not possible. That's not possible for me. I can't feel yeah, that there, good. There. I can't, I can't feel that good. So you can't get there from there. So what needs to happen? How can she change her frequency? Well, she can, she can start ac activating her life force, right? And doing processes that help that so that she starts vibing up here. Boy, my arrows are interesting today. They're very interesting. Right? Arrows. And then she can continue activating her life force. It looks to me like she's liberating she's her life She's liberating force. her life force. So now she's up here. Uh -huh. And guess what? At that point, she is at a frequency that matches what she wants. But the mistake that a lot of us make in our lives is from down here, we, we think, I can't get there. I'm not able to get rid of this chronic pain. I'm not able to make more money. I'm not able to have a healthy relationship. And it's true. For, this person can't. Unless they start liberating their life force and changing the vibrational frequency. Oh, and something else happens. When your frequency up levels, so does your identity. And you start to see yourself and the world in a different way. Mm -hmm. And that's important because you're always emanating a signal. It's your energy signature. Mm -hmm. And so unless that energy identity upgrades, you'll stay down here. So it's like changing your thermostat. Mm-hmm. And yeah. energy rises. And I'm sure you've either experienced it yourself or know someone who has that, let's say Tristan, <laughs> you know him, he was vibing a certain energy that was actually a match to a back that didn't work, that caused the him pain. to not be able to walk, to have pain. And when his, in the process of healing his back, he actually was changing his life force energy, which was the launch of really this leg of our business because we said, we have to share this. The help that he has now, you see him move, is because he had to raise his life force to be a match with that. And there's one- Not, little, not fix it. Tiny little nuance to add to what Sabrina just shared. My back, even though there were things in the x-rays and stuff that were really like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it really was the energy that was causing those issues in the physical. So I didn't, the doctors told me my back was messed up and I couldn't do the things I wanted. But now I know my back was just reflecting my energy. And when I changed my energy, my tissues changed. Yes, I did stretches and movements that helped unwind tension from the tissues and we teach those things. But it was energy blocks that was causing all the constriction and the identity so i had to change the energy that's mm -hmm. really pressing that point yeah please change your energy to upgrade and just to dig just a little bit deeper for more clarity so so we have a certain frequency of energy and that frequency is going to cause us to have certain thoughts and feelings right thoughts and feelings so you have a thought like oh my back hurts again today what is the feeling oh, i feel really sad about it i feel like a burden and from feeling like a burden what do you think i don't know if i can go on this is never going to end and that makes you feel depressed and we get stuck looping in here and then from these thoughts feeling thoughts feeling thoughts feelings usually what happens is we take an action and sometimes the action is not taking an action, and that is an action, but we take an action. So we need to upgrade the frequency so that our thoughts and feelings help us to choose the action that we want. Hopefully this is the action to raise the life force because from that action, we get an outcome. Right, we get an outcome based on the action that we took, but that action that we take 
is, is a direct result from this looping thoughts and feeling, thoughts and feeling. And Can be right, right here. And it's all because of this. Your energy, your frequency, your vibration. Mm -hmm. That's the secret sauce right there. Yes. That's the key to the kingdom. So hopefully that helped understand a little bit more how the conscious mind and subconscious mind are connected to your energy. That can help. And the magic, you get ready. We're gonna do some magic, one, two, three. Wow, very good. <laughs> Somebody said, well, we have shticked. We have shtick? Yeah, it's pretty we much We have shtick. so much shtick. <laughs> so, the conscious mind is the mind that says, whoa, what am I thinking? Where am I looping? And that's so great because the subconscious mind has gotten us stuck making the same choices and patterns where we start saying things like, that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. But it's because we don't know that there's that choice to liberate your life force. We don't know that there's a choice. To become a life force ninja. That's right. But there is. Go to storymethod.com <laughs> forward slash yes. It is the secret sauce, Lori. We would love to have you in our life force ninja program. It is kicking off very soon, like mm -hmm. days away. And there is a fast action bonus, which is after this program is over, three more months with us in what's called the Ninja Circle, where we continue with Movement Mastery and we continue working through liberating your life force. That program, that, that bonus alone is worth almost $600. And then you also get three months in our ongoing classes and a $250 cash voucher to be used in the future. And those are all bonuses. The oh, most yeah, important part is learning the method and having the map yeah. and having us walk you through all the pillars inside the map the activators, the qigong, the mental processes. This is our life's work. It's decades of research into personal and spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. We are ninja at frameworks mm -hmm. and articulating esoteric, energetic stuff in a very sensible way with good science to back it up. There's no like philosophy you have to follow of ours. We're just teaching you how you're wired, mm -hmm. how your mind and body work how you can tie it all back into that spiritual self and whatever your religion, it doesn't interfere. It only enhances your personal religious or spiritual practice. Absolutely. It will increase your faith. You will see the miracles. You are the miracle and you're going to have so much freaking fun with us in the community. It is such a great group of yep. people. So we'd yep. love to see you there. And like, and we may offer the program again, but not like this. So if, this would be the time to do it. This would be the time to do it because it's the lowest price it's ever going to be and the most touch points with us and a, and, a, and a nice, small, intimate group of people. And I'd like to close with Joanna's statement, the ultimate, ultimate energy, energy mastery, mastery program. program. Storymethod.com forward slash yes. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for being part of our community. Thank you for going through this training. If you are new to our work, it's so awesome to meet you energetically. And we hope that we can meet you face to face and continue this incredible journey of energy mastery together. La, la, la. We're going to leave on an upbeat. Here we go. Yeah. Get it down. No funky. All right. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Yes. We're going to a wedding. Yeah. Love you all.